Hi Vogue, it's Camila. I am so excited to be finally doing one of these. If I have plans for the day, this is my skincare and beauty routine. All right, let's dive right in. So my first step is always, of course, to wash my face. I like to use Tracy Martin Purifying Cleanser. Three pumps and then mix it with water. Rose water toner from Bird's Bees. I feel like such an influencer right now. Toner is really good for balancing out your pH. Next step is serum. I use Walm Young's Inner Glow Moisturizing Serum. This brand was introduced to me by Prabal Gurung, um, who took me to the mat last year. And I feel like every time I work with him, he always sends me Walm Young products, so that's how I heard of them, and I've fallen in love. I haven't always been a skincare girl, but I also never wore that much makeup before Riverdale um, and just before being a working actress. So now I feel like this uh, urge to learn more um, about my skin because I'm, I need to compensate for all the makeup that I wear on set. So obviously I had good skin when I wasn't clogging my pores, but now it's a 15 hour day of clogging pores, so I'm learning a lot. Lily teaches me a lot. Lily, my co-star, she teaches me a lot about um, about skincare. She's like an expert, so I definitely go to her a lot for advice. So after serum, while that's setting, I kind of like to use a little beauty roller. After massaging my face, going for the moisturizer. Recently started using Rene Rollo Skin Recovery Lotion. I guess not everybody presses their <laughs> moisturizer in. Nikeo! Nikeo! Um, it's a quinoa de puffing and firming eye cream. Uh, I find that my eyes get really puffy, especially if I'm like doing a scene on set where I'm crying a lot or something. Um, I'll wake up the next morning with really puffy eyes. My eyes definitely don't. Uh, take well to intense crying. I don't think anyone's does, but Madeline Patch, who plays Cheryl on the show, has an insane ability to just like a tear will just fall out out of nowhere. It's like, I mean, not out of nowhere, but it's just so impressive how it's just like that perfect tear streaming down the cheek. She just like blinks her eyes and she looks so beautiful. I'm like, God, I wish I looked that pretty when I cry. I just keep staring at this thing right here and I just can't wait to cover it. Um, my first step, True Skin Radiant Priming Serum um, by Elia Beauty. The serum will help get that glow um, and bring it out after applying foundation and stuff. And it's also a priming serum, so it helps the makeup stick. Um, I like to use a beauty blender to apply foundation um, and the foundation I use is, of course, Ilia Beauty um, True Skin Serum Foundation. After foundation, I put on concealer. Um, for the eyes, I blend it in immediately and then when I go to cover blemishes, I kind of let the product dry first. Um, or just kind of set so that when I do go to blend it, it's a little bit thicker, if that makes sense. How many little blemishes? I'm gonna put some right here because I get really red under my nose. And that guy. So for the next portion of the video, you're just gonna have to stare at that, okay? It's gonna be blended just to relax. You have nothing to worry about. Next step is highlighter. I'm using a lot of Elia products, but listen, when you find what works, you just stick to it. I hate when you can really see makeup, especially when it comes to face makeup. This is when I put on my blush slash eyeshadow. A multi-stick, so it is multi-purpose. Kinda goes with my shirt. Anyway, um, I get this and I put it on my eyes. It's really like creamy and light. 
So the more I blend it in, the more it kind of disappears, which I like. I just like things to be convenient. I like something that I can just like stick to and that it's gonna work for everything. Um, I feel like that's kind of like the way I dress, the way I do my hair and my makeup. It's all trying to like minimize the amount of effort, <laughs> but still being special and unique. I do like three passes on my cheeks. It looks really strong. But then I get this guy. I love this little buffer brush. Um, and then just so it's not too heavy, I'll go pass it over with the beauty blender again. I definitely don't like to see where the makeup stops and the hairline begins. So I do go a little bit into the hair. This guy was already so red. And then when I put on um, blush over it, then it starts to turn red again. So I'm gonna put more concealer on it. Next step would be the brows. Gotta focus on the brows. They get kind of crazy as I'm doing my makeup, so I gotta brush them up. There's definitely a phase in like junior high and a little bit through high school where like thin brows were the thing and people were plucking the hell out of their brows. Um, and so I used to be kind of self-conscious of my brows and also like if I don't tweeze for two days, like I definitely start to get a unibrow. So I have to be very like uh, diligent about my brows and constantly maintaining them. I'm gonna use the brow contour pen from Benefit Cosmetics. And I really only fill in this part because this part tends to be a little empty. I'm trying to grow it out. Once I'm done filling them in, something I love to do, which I learned recently, that helps look like you just got your brows done because it defines them. If I set it to the defining section, I can like do this. This is definitely like if I have more time getting ready, which gotta be honest, I don't always have time. I'm kind of late. Like everyone in the cast makes fun of me because I'm like, they know now that if they say, you know, 10, 10 p.m., I won't get there till like 10, 20. Um, so I usually need something that's quick in terms of makeup. Then you just sort of blend it in and just from like making that part of your brow a little bit lighter around, it just like looks like they're so clean and defined. And then I'll use the highlighter one. This pen is amazing. And go right there. One final brush up, now that they look like I just stepped out of a brow bar. This is the Get It Together eyeshadow palette. Get it together. I take a little bit and then I just like wipe it up here, as you can see, <laughs> I wipe it off. It's like eyeliner, but I don't want it to look like eyeliner. I don't want it to look like it's there. It's almost like I just want to like bold in my lash line on the bottom. I feel like there's always one side that's a little harder where you like just don't get the angle as good. I never went through a, a dark eyeliner phase or anything like that, but I definitely went through like a seam phase. Um, and that's when I would kind of do like raccoon eyes. Like it wouldn't be super thick, but it would like be black eyeliner down here and then through here and I'd smudge it to make it look messy and rebellious. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes. The Shiseido Eyelash Curler. I'm very particular about mascara. I feel like I need something that's really gonna give me like a defined feathery look. I don't like it when it mascara is too heavy and clumpy. I want it to look like I'm wearing no mascara. I like to use just enough where you can see like the lashes through your eyelids, if that makes sense. That's really all that matters to me. I just want them to be longer. Tightline mascara for my bottom lashes. I'm really OCD about about um, defining my bottom lashes because it just feels weird to have them like be the only naked thing on my face. Like they need to have something just a little bit. And this is really light, 
and it's a tiny little guy, so it's easy to reach the top of your lashes. And it's so subtle. It's like I notice it more than anyone else will, but that's all that matters. I think this would be the point where I would blend in this guy. Let's see how he's doing. So I'm still not satisfied with how this is being covered, and that's usually when I'll come in with another concealer, the Shiseido concealer. Um, it's thicker, and I feel like it really stays on. I feel like it does a better job of actually concealing it. That already made a better difference. The negative side of these kinds of blemishes is that they're, they're raised, and they pick up light really easily. So it's, high to, it's hard to hide them. Um, but I'll usually get like the cap of my Elia powder and I'll like get one of the like little remnants of, of powder that are there and then I'll just pat it on here just so it stops looking so shiny. See that? Sometimes I go do another layer of concealer under my eyes. I feel like they look fine right now. And it's always like, I still wanna look human, you know? I don't wanna look like I've been airbrushed. I don't wanna lie to people and say that I get a lot of sleep because lately I haven't, so. Lily always makes fun of me and says I have a mirror face, but everyone has a mirror face. I feel like mine, I just kind of like, I become like vacant and lifeless. I just look like there's like no personality inside. It's like, I don't know what that is. I alternate between this Charlotte Tilbury uh, Glowing Gen lipstick or this Pat McGrath one, which is a little bit more of a nude. Let me see which one I'm gonna do today. I love like smudging in my lips. It just makes it look like your lips are fuller without like overdrawing them or anything. I don't have big lips, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm never getting them filled. And that's, this is my official announcement of that. I feel my most beautiful when I'm really taking care of myself, mentally and physically. When you're overworking yourself or when you're putting too much on your plate, making your schedule too packed with things to do, then you're, you become the last priority in your life, you know? Like everything else is important, but you're ignoring yourself. My last step of the process is just spraying the Tatcha Dewy Mist on my face, just like, really light but I think after all the powder it's nice to kind of give a little bit more dewiness again and then a little spritz of Daisy by Marc Jacobs I've literally been using it since high school well thanks for watching Vogue this has been really fun and interesting I've learned a lot about myself through this experience um, and I hope you learned some things too probably not because it's pretty basic what I do till we meet again bye